Inflation is sparing no one, including our local food banks. And as ABC 10 News reporter Sierra Encinas discovered, one of our biggest food distributors is seeing costs spike as much as 30% on some items. Inside the San Diego Food Bank, volunteers are hard at work sorting food for the thousands facing food insecurity in San Diego County. The food bank is now bracing to feed more because of inflation. Just as people were starting to recover from the pandemic, we're now seeing because of inflation the cost of really everything going up. CEO Casey Castillo has been with the food bank for 14 years and says he's seeing a lot of similarities between now and the Great Recession. He says the only difference is inflation. So inflation right now is not only hurting our recipients, but it's hurting our donors and their disposable income and what they can give and it's impacting us. Uh, everything is more expensive for the San Diego Food Bank. Castillo says the food bank is seeing food purchases spike anywhere from 15 to 30 percent. Well, we're hearing from all of our nonprofit partners. We partner with over 500 of them. These are nonprofits that have feeding programs uh, throughout San Diego County. And what we're hearing from them is that their service population is increasing. They're seeing more people, which means we're seeing more people. Father Joe's Villages is one of those partners. Deacon Jim Vargas is the president and CEO. He says this year Father Joe's is already on track to feed 25% more people than last year. He says he's seeing inflation impact low-income individuals, the population the organization serves. So these individuals who are less able to absorb these food increases, the food price increases, are the ones who are being impacted by it. So that's why the, the, those uh, we have more people um, coming to us for for support in this regard, and we're happy to be able to, to provide for that. Both food distributors tell those who might be struggling not to be shy because they're there to help. Sierra Encinas, ABC 10 News.